Corsair has sent us its latest gaming mouse, the Glaive RGB, which we're gonna unbox in this video and see how the mouse looks. The Glaive RGB that was launched last week is priced at rupees 6490. Apart from making some design changes, Corsair has put a new sensor in the mouse. It has a 1600 dpi resolution. The mouse also uses Omron switches that the company says is tested for around 50 million clicks. This high resolution also means that a very small area that you traverse on the mouse on your desk will result in a bigger area traverse on the screen. Now the transition on the screen will appear much faster and compared to a normal mouse. So this is the box. It looks in a pretty beat up condition but thankfully the mouse inside is safe. So let's take a look at the specifications. It says that it has six programmable buttons which we'll see once the mouse is out. It says the shape is also controlled for gaming and it's onboard storage to store effects and macros and DPI settings for the mouse. So we'll, if, you, if you change it from one PC to another, its profile will not be lost. And there is dynamic multicolor three zone backlighting. So there's the green strips, light here and a light at the front. The mouse also comes with interchangeable thumb grips and there are three of them. We'll see that once we take out the mouse. So here's the photos of three interchangeable grips that the mouse ships with. So let's take out the mouse and this is the Corsair Glaive RGB. Doesn't look that big as we have seen in the photos. But yes, we'll quickly take it out of the packet. Next thing in the box is the manual. And since the mouse has a lot of features, you would need that. And then there must be the warranty statement. So Corsair gives you a replacement warranty for major defects, but it's not mentioned for how many years. So let's take out the mouse after the packaging. The connector to me looks similar to the most of the Corsair accessories we have used. So there are six keys in total on the mouse. So there's one on the left and the right and on the center wheel. That's what you find on majority of the mouses. Then there are three extra keys here, here and here. Another feature is the thumb grip that we were talking about. So this is the thumb grip that can be detached from the mouse. So there must be, they are in fact magnetically attached to the device. You, all you need to do is hold it and pull it out and they will come out. So let's find out the other two thumb grips. They're here in the package. So these are the thumb grips in total. And I think this must be the widest you can get for resting your thumb on the mouse. And the posture looks quite comfortable with this. And I'm sure long periods of gaming would be quite uh, easy with this kind of grips. Though the build quality is quite inferior, I didn't expect them to be plastic and very light or rather cheap in quality. But despite being made out of plastic, the mouse doesn't feel that cheap. Although if it had been made out of metal, it would have felt more sturdier. So this is the mouse I normally use on my laptop and this is what a gaming mouse should look like basically. One of the best things about a gaming mouse is that how swift the click feels. I mean, I, I would do this 100 times and won't be tired and maybe I'll do it less here and still my fingers need a lot of effort if you compare with this to click. And it's also quite fast. The click bounces back really fast. And of course, like in the keys, the travel distance is much less. Also, it gives you a wider area to keep your finger. So there's a lot of area, there's a lot of room for the finger to move and still get the click done. Here you hit the scroller if you, if you move your fingers around too much. 
And the shape of the button is also contoured in a fashion that can allow you to rest the finger very comfortably. So this is the Corsair utility engine and you would need this to configure the mouse. So these are the options that you get uh, on the software. Apart from the uh, normal button tools that you can set each button's required action from here and then you can also select which kind of lighting do you want on the mouse both on the front the back and the top lighting here you can change uh, all the stuff and in fact you can also change the pattern of colors that will appear on the mouse next and a very important aspect of the mouse is the dpi so as we told you earlier the mouse supports high dpi and so you may not be able to use it sometimes on surfaces like desks or tables where you don't keep a mouse pad so for that corsair has provided a surface calibration tool wherein you can just start the process and the mouse will automatically calibrate the speed at which you move the pointer according to the surface so here's what you need to do is just click and drag the icon in a circular fashion and you just have to keep the speed in green area and the mouse is calibrated for the surface you're using it on this is of great help because if you use it out of the box on the table the mouse pointer moves a lot of distance while you move it very little on the table so that makes it quite difficult to use and this surface calibration tool is quite useful then there's a performance tab where you can also manually change the pointer speed though this is the tool available in the windows mouse options as well now generally the mouse you use for your daily tasks has around 400 to 800 dpi while most gaming mouse use 1200 dpi this comes with a 1600 dpi that the company says will be fast enough for your gaming sessions. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe.